Hey guys, what's up? It's Mel and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here. I did a poll on my Instagram stories a few days ago asking you guys to pick between certain products. So basically you guys picked this face right here and I'm liking it. I like the way it came out. Yeah, if you want to learn how to get this look right here, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Actually, hopefully it'll be pretty easy for the most part since y'all already picked everything. Let's do it. For primer, the winning primer was the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's kind of a lot, I didn't need that much. So this primer is really good for dry skin, combination skin, um, probably not the best for oily skin. Now, what I will use it for on my oily people is like I'll use a mattifying primer where they're the most where they are the most oily, and then I'll put this kind of like right here, maybe a little bit right here, a little bit here, um, just to give the skin a nice glow from underneath. Also, another thing about this one is after you get it on, you have to give it some time to get tacky. If you go straight to putting your foundation on right after, it's not gonna work out well, sis. So. Just gonna give it like 30 seconds, a minute. For foundation, you guys picked the L'Oreal Superstay 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I am having to mix foundations right now just because, yeah, I just have a darker one. This one's a little bit too light. There's no point in buying a whole new foundation yet. I feel like in summertime, your skin just changes like every week. So, I get about that much, mix it together on my hand with this brush, and then I'm going to start off by tapping it in all over my face. When I get to like my hairline and my neckline, I do kind of like swirl the brush a little bit, just to make sure I get in there, kind of on my ears too, down my neck. Ooh. To conceal and contour, you guys chose the ColourPop concealers, I think they're called the No Filter Concealer. Here they are. Start off tapping everything in and then swivel as needed. And brush it. So we're gonna move on to blush. I am following Scott Bourne's technique where he goes straight from this to the blush and then we'll do the powder next and it'll help really bring everything together nice and seamlessly. I'm using this Makeup Revolution Vintage Lace Blush and I love this one because each of the blushes has shimmer in it. So if you're somebody who has texture on your cheek, acne scarring, little bumps, things like that, keep in mind that anything with shimmer in it is going to accentuate that. So you probably want to go with something more matte that doesn't have little sparkles of shimmer. I have a little bit of texture, I just don't care. So anytime I use this palette, I do like to mix whatever colors together. Today I'm kind of feeling both of these. Mile and I'm to okay. I like to remind people when you're doing blush to make sure to kind of bring it up a little bit not too high up but just so that whenever you do your contour and stuff later with powder you don't have like a splotch of blush blank face contour that I like okay now that we've done blush we can go on to our powder I asked y'all for the contour part to pick between my MAC powder and my Scott Barnes powder and I'm kind of sad that y'all picked the MAC one because that one for almost like every video. MAC won by 51%. I'm assuming the people who didn't vote for Scott Barnes just didn't know who he was. But yeah, he's bomb, just so you know. That's JLo's makeup artist. He's done makeup on obviously lots of other people as well. And honestly, he's just bomb. Just a side note, he's on YouTube channel now and it's so informative. It's definitely different than your everyday like sit down and watch somebody like right now doing a tutorial. He really gives his techniques and little tips and tricks he's learned and done 
for years and years and years now. Yeah, if you want to kind of learn a little bit more in depth about certain stuff, definitely go check his channel out. I can't put it right here because I don't have enough subscribers yet to do that. So I'll just put it in the description box. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this same brush. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit on just a dry, clean paper towel. And now we're about to go in and all the same places I contoured with earlier with the liquid contour. I'm gonna go ahead and go over now with the powder. For my powder highlight and like setting powder, I again asked y'all to pick between MAC and Juvia's Place and my Juvia's Place won by a whole bunch by 75%. So that's what we're going to use is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic setting powder in the color Sahara. And it's okay if it gets over that blush and bronzer a little bit, that's the point. It's going to help everything blend and marry together really nicely on your face. This is also a technique that I learned from Lipstick Nick and Scott Barnes. I kind of put them both together, but Lipstick Nick does this technique called veiling. Whenever you put any kind of blush on, she goes in with a layer of translucent powder over top, and it just provides like a nice kind of like veil of powder over that color. So it just kind of like peeks through instead of it being like an obvious pop of color. So that's kind of like what this technique is as well. For eyes, I asked y'all to pick between the Norvina Volume 2 palette or the Ambrezzi palette and ding, 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 the Ambrezzi palette one. You can't go wrong with Ambrezzi. I didn't really ask y'all to help me pick colors that I was going to use or anything like that, so that's kind of on me now. But I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off with the color OG and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease. Nothing too crazy, just very lightly defining my crease. And I'm not bringing it down too far. I'm stopping at about this point. Oh, my brows. Actually, let me do my brows real quick and I'll be back. All right, so I really, really love this color right here, Samsa. Samsa. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and place in my crease. And I'm gonna use this brush right here. brush that I applied the crease color in earlier. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm not putting anything else on this brush. You can see I already created the exact shape that I wanted when I placed the color down. And now I'm just blending it up and out. Cool. Now to the other side. because I might forget later, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same color and place it right underneath here. When I get to the corner, I'm just flicking up, up, up. Okay, so still working with the Semsa color. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it on this brush now. And I'm just going to tap it from the outer corner, just like in the outer third of my eyelid, like right here. Same brush, I'm not gonna move the color around too much. I'm just gonna very carefully blend out the edges. Which is my neck. The next step, I'm going to get this kind of like thin, it's actually a concealer brush, but I really want to have control of where I place this next color. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my setting spray and spray my brush a little bit and wet it. Then I'm gonna pick up the color Cupcake. So pretty. I'm gonna cover the middle of my eye with this. Same brush from earlier, blend, blend, blend. We don't want any harsh lines. All right, so with the same brush that I used to apply Cupcake, I'm gonna clean it off, wet it, and then pick up the color Barb. 
barb. And it's gonna go on like the inner corner of your eye. This is barb. Barbie. brush just gonna blend a little bit the thing I'm gonna do is get this brush right here and I'm gonna pick up the color wasted this one and I'm gonna put this right underneath my brow bone and just blend anything that needs to be blended So for highlight, you guys picked the Fenty highlight, and I'm using Mean Money and Hustla Baby, but more Hustla Baby, which is this one, because I'm almost out of Mean Money. For this look, I'm just going to be adding lashes, not really any liner, and then some bottom mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and go do that, and I'll be right back. So I have my lashes on now. These are Zada lashes. Sorry, I got glue on them. But Zada lashes in the style Coco. Had to double check. <laughs> but yeah, these are some of my faves. They're super cute. And I ended up doing like a little tiny baby liner with a tiny baby wing because I've been doing this trick lately with my lashes where I don't lay them against my lash line here on the end. Like they're on my lash line the rest of the way. But on the end, I align them with kind of like my wing a little bit and then I flip them up like that. So I have pretty round eyes so when I go with longer lashes like these and I stick them straight to my lash line they can kind of like drag down the outside of my eyes but when I use this technique and as you can see the glue is still drying so when it's dry I'll go in and double check and if I need to I'll put a little bit of liner right there but if I don't need to because that glue dries black then I won't. So like this one's almost dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more mascara on the bottom just to even things out a tad. And then we'll move on to lips and we're done. Okay, cool. So for lips, I'll pick a glossy pink nude. That's what we're gonna do is a glossy pink nude, okay? So I'm gonna start off with this NYX push-up lingerie in the color Embellish nice little mauve color and I'm just going to use this to line my little lips. Okay, from there I'm going to go ahead and go in with this So Juicy Gloss in the color Roundabout. Alright guys, so this is the finished look right here. Hopefully you guys love it, like it a little bit at least. I love a good purple eye. I have brown eyes, so it's the one time that my eyes actually like kind of stand out a little bit. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, then don't forget to like right here below. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about this. If you learned something, don't forget to share it. That's it for today, and I will see you guys next week with another tutorial. Bye guys.